American logo. Mmm. Wet my whistle just a little bit. We've got a lot of people in our chat, nearly 200 people who are joining us. Let's jump in now and talk about this air compressor. Now, how many of you, when the weather turned sharply colder, began to get a warning indication that your tire pressure was low? Me. I think most of us did. Because when we have a quick change in the weather, weather usually from warm to cold, we see the tire pressure drop in our tires. So the next thing you do is you drive to the gas station or to the convenience store or wherever there's an air pump. And typically there is a line. And then there's some joker there who can't seem to get the thing all stretched around his car. So he has to stop and he has to move the car closer to the air pump and then that just takes longer. And by this point, you're just about lost interest. But you know you need to add some air to the tire because the car is not driving properly. Never a good idea to ride on underinflated tires. And so having a compressor is going to be a game changer for you. I know that so many of us are worried about new drivers, perhaps, that are out on their own in the car for the first time. Maybe you've got a son or a daughter that just got their driver's license. All they are thinking about is how cool it is that they're driving and they're out and about on their own. What they're not remembering is that they need the tools to really help out in a situation where there could be a potential emergency. So all of this is going to be so important to consider when you are outfitting your cars for all the things that they need to safely include, like that vector jump starter and this air compressor from, uh, air compressor from, Sun, from Air Joe. We're excited to be able to offer this one to you, but, the, uh, but this uh, five easy payments goes away at the end of our show. Now our show concludes in about 58 minutes. That's when this five easy payment plan will disappear on this item. You're gonna have a rechargeable battery at the bottom here. So you plug in this rechargeable battery and now this item is ready to roll. You set your tire pressure here on the back of the unit and then you connect this to the tire and then you pull the trigger. Now, you can let this go and sit it down and allow it to do its work. The most important thing is you don't have to sit there and hold it, particularly out in this freezing cold weather, right? And we also have this for you in some great colors. Now, I have this for you in the black. We also have the blue. There's the black. There's green. And platinum. Now, these batteries are super easy to charge. You're also going to get all the nozzles you need because this will also be your best friend come summertime. When you're ready to blow up a basketball or a soccer ball, maybe uh, bike tires, floats for the pool, whatever the case may be, we're gonna give you all the great little nozzles that'll help you do all of that. And everything comes in its own carrying case. If you are doing a little bit of traveling or a lot of traveling, this is going to be such an important thing to have in your vehicle or in your garage because it will truly make a, such a huge difference particularly when that air pressure drops or for any number of reasons changes. Let's invite in Sean Pickford. He's our DIY guy at QVC. Also our Joe guy, whether it's Sun Joe, Air Joe, Snow Joe. Sean is here with all those great Joe products. And today he brings us one that's going to make inflation a breeze. Sean, it's good to have you back, pal. Great to see you as always, David. So I use mine today. Why? Well, my daughter goes back to the University of Pittsburgh tomorrow. So I checked all four tires on her car. I checked them when she got home just a little under a month ago for the holiday break. Guess what? All four tires needed air. Well, part of it's because it got so cold in the last few days. Like you said, David, you get that warning light that comes on your dash. But one of the tires was almost five pounds low of air just because of the change in atmospheric pressure and temperature. So what we did is we filled up the tires. And the great thing is, is she knows how to use this. She can put it in her car. She takes it with her. She checks it before she comes home. So for me as a dad, it's peace of mind that my daughter can take care of the car, minor things, which we may think of as filling the tires. But to some people, that's a major thing. Why? Because you're afraid you're going to put too much air in it. And that's one of the great things about this air compressor, that when you hit that button and you turn it on, you hit the plus or minus button on the back here. And you tell the pump exactly how much air pressure you want to put into something. Maybe it's seven pounds in the football. Maybe it's 35 pounds in the car tire. But you don't have to worry about overinflating it. And when it gets to that pressure that you put in there, it automatically shuts itself off. So there's no way to make a mistake with this thing. And it really is super easy to use. 
Well, we're, we've got a lot of people in the chat who are making comments about this. Tim says, I'm buying this air compressor right now. I have the exact reason David uh, talked about, low air pressure on cold mornings. Carolyn right. writes, my SUV has a very slow leak. The gas station guy can't find the leak because it's too small. This will solve my problem when my tire loses pressure about every six to eight weeks. This fits very easily in the trunk of the car. You're going to love that it's going to uh, allow you to uh, pump up things like car and truck tires, SUV tires, your floats, your basketballs, your bicycle tires. And I love it, Sean, because you set that, that tire pressure and then you, you activate the, the device and you walk away. You let it do its job. Yeah, in my case today, because it was so cold outside, David, it was 19 degrees when we were doing this. I would put it on the tire, set the pressure, and run back in the garage, wait till I hear it stop running, then run back out, put it on the next tire. Because it's so cold outside, you don't want to have to spend time out there. That's the great thing. It automatically shuts itself off. And even just to inflate something as easy as this football here, again, I set the pressure. The ball tells me on the other side here, inflate it to 7 PSI. So I set the gauge here to 7 PSI. There you go. That fast, it's 7 PSI. It shuts itself off. So there's no guesswork here. There's no intimidation. It's really easy to use. And I love that it's got the gauge built in. There's a lot of pumps out there. Like when you drive up and you put the quarter in the machine, it's supposed to sense what it is. And sometimes the gauge isn't right. So you think you're putting 32 pounds of air in your tire. You get home and you check it with another device. You find out you have 28. So they're not as accurate as they could be. This is extremely accurate down to the half pound. You can put as little as five pounds in something and you can go all the way as high as 150 pounds, which could be a school bus or a dump truck tire. So we can do everything in between and we do it without the intimidation factor of overinflating something. You make a great point, Sean, because when we go to the gas station and the convenience store, is that air pump accurate? Because right. how many times when you have gotten done with uh, one of those air pumps, did you just toss it over on the curb? Because you've been there so long and you're aggravated or it's cold <laughs> or whatever the case may be. Right. Every time that thing slams against the curb, it may impact whether or not it, gets, it holds its, its uh, correct readings. And then over time, with multiple uses and people getting aggravated and tossing it down, then does it become less accurate? Sean makes a great point. You get home and you check that tire pressure and it's all wrong. It's not at all what the, what the pump said. Or yeah. my other favorite is when you get there and they say, oh yeah, we'll, we'll provide you air, but you'll have to pay for it. Right, yeah, there's no such thing as free air anymore. For yeah, not reason. so much, so, not so much. You know, it used to be when we started driving, but nowadays everything costs you something here and there. So this is an easier way to do it. And let's face it, if you get the flat in your driveway, you can't drive it to that air station anyway. So how are you going to get it from your driveway to where you need air? That's the great thing about this. You take it to where you need it. So maybe it's the springtime and you're doing work in the yard and it's your wheelbarrow. Maybe it's a utility trailer you have. In my case, we have a little place at the beach. We like to have bicycles and ride them all over the island. Well, half the time the bike tires are going flat because we're not using them all through the year. Sure. This is a great way to be able to inflate it without putting the bike in the car and driving it somewhere to fill it up with air. And if you've got five bicycles, because I know you have, <laughs> yeah. well, you probably have four bikes because you have two kids and a wife. So right. there are four bikes there. I mean, that's not an easy chore to throw no. all four bikes in the back of the truck and drive it down to the gas station and then individually put air in all those tires and then load them back into the, by that point you've lost interest. Yeah. So this is gonna be a great opportunity for you to have this available. You take this with you on the road to the beach, to the mountain house, wherever you're going and always have it in the back of the car. Now, Sean, this is the, the black choice. We also have it for you in some other colors. Blue has been most popular. Okay. Also, we have it for you in the green. Green is most limited. And finally, the platinum. Now, Sean, our video showed how to charge this. We're including right. a wall outlet um, here. So you want to plug this into a regular wall outlet and then plug the other end of the cord right. into the battery, right? Yeah, that's how. I mean, it's real easy to do, and I'll show you right here. So this is what your charger is going to look like. It looks like this. This plugs into a standard household wall outlet. Then you take this piece here, and it goes into the top of the battery. When you plug this in, these little lights will start flashing. So it will tell you, and especially if your battery's down low, you'll see one flash, then it'll go to two, and then when it's ready, all three will flash. So you will know. It takes about two and a half hours to fully charge this from dead. Now, this battery will hold its charge for a full year. So if you're not sure how much juice you have left, 
hit the little button on here and it will tell you these will light up so you're never guessing you always know how much battery life you have left well so many people are now making their choice and picking up this great air compressor um, lots of people are realizing this is just good peace of mind I'm a big advocate of being proactive don't wait until the problem presents itself to go out and look for a solution because if you wait until you have the flat tire, you're probably gonna end up paying a lot more money to correct that issue after you've already gotten the flat tire because now you're anxious, you wanna solve the problem. It's like going out and shopping for a snowblower after the blizzard has already happened, right? You're gonna yeah, pay way more for that snowblower when you're in the middle of the storm than you would on a random afternoon when there's good weather outside and people are just milling around the store, right? So this is what it's all about. Don't miss this opportunity. Well over 50 people have said, yeah, this makes good sense. I'm going to have this on hand. How long will this hold a charge? When it's fully charged, how long will it hold that charge? So it'll hold that charge for a full year, David, okay? And that's the great thing about it. You can always check it by pressing in the little dot on the battery so it'll tell you how much charge is left in the battery. It'll also mul uh, inflate multiple things. So those sports balls I showed you, you can inflate 40 to 50 of those sports balls. Everything you're seeing in the video here was inflated in real time. So a lot of the ones you see on other TV you know, stations, they speed it up to make it look like it's fast. We didn't have to speed up any of the video. That's how powerful this pump is. So it does a fantastic job. I use mine about once a week. We have four cars. I'm always checking tire pressure. Why? Because low tire pressure means you're wearing the tires, you're not getting good gas mileage, and you don't have the traction you need on the road. So wheelbarrows, things like that in the spring when we're going to be doing yard work, you take this to the wheelbarrow instead of lugging everything into the car, going somewhere. I love that you get all the little needles and the little attachments. So whether it's a yoga ball, sports ball, that Presta valve there, all the new mountain bikes have a thin little inflator piece on there. They try and sell you a special pump. The screws right on so you can use this pump. Blowing up full floats and even balloons with that tapered valve makes all the difference in the world. So I use this all the time. I absolutely love my Joe, Air Joes. I give them out as gifts to people and then people are like, what is that? And the first time they use it, like, that is so cool, especially if you're a sports coach right now and you got kids that are playing, you know, indoor sports with basketballs and stuff. So, yep, there's that battery indicator right there. Exactly, it's almost like a little gas gauge letting you know that that yes. battery or this battery in particular is fully charged. All three yes. of the lights are fully illuminated. So this is fully charged and ready to roll. And on a full charge, until you use it, it will last a full year in your vehicle. Now here is the blue that's been most popular this hour. We also have it in green. I've got platinum. And the one in front of me is the black. There's another look at it. Don't miss out on this. Sean Pickard, it is great to have you here. Head inside and get something warm to drink, will you? Sounds great, David. Good to see you as always. Have a always great a pleasure, sir. Be well. All right, let's 